In this video, I will demonstrate a backup and recovery of the Hyper-V clustered shared volumes through the Networker module for Microsoft Application version 2.4. I have launched the Hyper-V Manager because this is the tool that you will use to display all of your CSV servers. A CSV is a feature of failover clustering available within the Windows Server 2008 R2 and is used for the Hyper-V role. A federated CSV is not owned by any one node in the cluster. Instead, the CSV travels between the cluster nodes as the backup and recoveries occur. The CSV that is locally mounted is also referred to as the coordinating node, both by Microsoft and by the Networker module for Microsoft applications. We will now look at the client configuration within the Networker Management Console. In the left-hand pane, you'll see that we have created a CSV group for our CSV clients and that there are four clients associated to this group. We will now look at the properties of the server that has NMM installed. The client was configured with the new client wizard, which is available with Networker 8.0. This client is using the Hyper-V safe set, which was populated when the client was configured. In the Apps and Modules tab, we find that Data Domain is configured as the target and the backup command was automatically populated by the client configuration wizard, along with the required application information. We have now gone back into the NMM application and will review the VM recovery of the CSV client that was backed up prior to this demo. From the left pane, we will select Recovery, Hyper-V Recovery, Image Recovery. We will now select the appropriate client name, NMM will gather information on the CSV VMs. We select the CSV VM to be restored and select Advanced Recovery. The Hyper-V Restore Wizard is launched and the destination host page for the clustered node appears. On this page, you have the option to choose if a recovery will occur to the virtual system on a particular cluster node or to an alternate Hyper-V server. So in the summary for this section, we have covered reviewing the client configuration for the CSV within the Networker Management Console and walked through the recovery process.